Ever since I was a kid, I could feel spiritual energy around me. I know that sounds weird, but it's true. I could feel truth. I could feel the absence of him. Um, and so I could tell when people were lying or not, which made life kind of challenging as a kid, you know, because you find pretty quickly that a lot of people are lying. So this gift was actually an affliction for a long time because I didn't understand it. It was so confusing and like kind of overpowering for most of my life. I was a, like, I was self-aware enough that I could pretty much control myself outwardly and people didn't notice there was much going on, but underneath there was like all this drama all the time. So I just got used to it and it became pretty normal and I didn't realize until my early 20s like, whoa, this is actually relevant, accurate information. I'm picking up on what's happening in the spirit realm, the unseen world, which is kind of weird because most of my life I didn't believe in the spirit world. I didn't believe in spirits. I didn't think they were real. I'm like, what does that even mean? The spirit, what is that? They don't, they're not real, you can't see them, you don't feel them, and they don't exist, for the most part. That's how I felt and what I believed for most of my life. The spirit world was more real than I ever knew. It wasn't until I met people with formidable gifting that I started recognizing and respecting this gift. The Bible talks about this ability to distinguish between spirits. I didn't really care about that for most of my life until I realized that's exactly what was happening to me. This ability was afflicting my life. And I realized this was actually more, way more relevant than I ever understood. The things I was feeling, these emotions, it was actually the discernment thing manifesting in my life, actually pointing me to things I was supposed to be able to recognize and separate. So as I started engaging in this dynamic and admitting that this was, this was happening to me, oh, I can feel stuff, these emotions are real, things started to click, my whole world started to change. The world I lived in became very different, and I recognized the spirit world is actually the real when we discover that we're spirits and we start respecting and honoring the world we actually live in and how it actually works, abundance, success, reward, fulfillment, these things start becoming our experience. Our relationships become authentic and real and powerful. The freedom that was actually brought, bought for us becomes experience and we get to profit from what it means to be a free person. It's incredible. It changes people's lives. I've watched person after person after person get set free from simply waking up to reality what's always been going on. So the invitation has been sent. People from all over are recognizing they're part of this. And so I want to invite you to consider, is this you? Are you part of this conversation? Here at MikeMayashiro.com, we have all kinds of resources, events, a network, things that people can plug into to start being part of this conversation, to contribute what they have and also receive what we've all discovered and gathered together to really get to this place where we recognize that truth is a person and we can know him. Our mission is to elevate the spiritual intelligence of the planet and really help everybody be able to live life as a whole being with everything they are in the world that actually exists.